time to unleash the beast. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to another video where I tell you a story while we fold our laundry together or any other chore that you have been putting off. So now it's your moment, your key, key, your, this is, the, get out your shit that you have been putting off and let's do this. I meant to say sign. Now is your sign. Now is the time. I like to rhyme. Wow, she is off to a great start. <sighs> Last week we skipped this because I accidentally pulled us all into a scam. I will leave the link to that video above and below. You guys were just so lovely about the whole situation and understanding, so thank you for that. Um, but today we are finally here to talk about my prom experience because I think, let's see, we're going into May. We're starting to hit prom season, right? I think I kind of can't remember because um, I'm not a high schooler anymore um, and I feel like all the seasons and all the days kind of like mush together. Like I literally had to think about what time of year it was, which is so funny because when you were in school, I don't know about you guys, but I remember like seasons and months and weeks, they were all so monumental because it was one step closer to summer. But now it all mushes together. Needless to say, I do believe that it is Hold on, I wanna just say this out loud. I say needless to say all the time. Who says that? Me, all the time. I recognize it now because I edit myself saying needless to say all the time. Anyways, needless to say, uh, it is prom season and so it reminded me of my prom experience and I felt like sharing. I made a video about it a long time ago. Like it was like a sketch that I did in my old apartment. I don't know if that one is still up, um, but I figured a lot of you probably didn't see that or don't remember, so I would share my prom experience with y'all now because I feel like prom is one of those moments in everyone's life that feels like so pressured or like pressureful, like you have to like, it's, it's supposed to be a certain way, right? We watch all these movies and TV shows about prom being this like magical day where you're supposed to have this perfect date and the whole thing, like it's just like a wedding. It almost feels like the pressure of the wedding for that time in your life. And I'm here to tell you, it let that go because chances are prom is gonna suck. No, <laughs> that's, just, that's not the point of this. Uh, the point is to let you guys know that my prom was kind of terrible and look at me now. I'm folding laundry on the internet telling you all about it. Things get better. Anyways, so let's start from the beginning as much as I can remember because, um, hi, I went to prom in 2001. One. Damn, that was a long time ago. Anyhow, I think I've mentioned before, like, I, uh, I wasn't the most popular, but I wasn't the least popular. It kind of fell a little bit in the middle. Uh, I was, you know, like, kind of the star of all the theater stuff, but that obviously didn't make you, like, the cool kid, but... You know, I had a lot of friends and all my like girlfriends were the popular girls and like the pretty girls. I'm <laughs> so stupid now in retrospect to think about this. Like, but you know, that's really how it broke down at least back then. So I hung with the cool kids, but I was like the not desirable girl of the group. I never really dated in high school. Um, I think I dated one dude, but he didn't go to my high school. He went to my best friend's high school. So it, I just, it, you know, I just wasn't the desirable pick for a date for prom. But I knew who I wanted to go with, and I wanted to go with Matt. Uh, I always liked him. He was like the class clown. I don't know if I had a crush on him per se, but you know, like you kind of convince yourself you do because then that would make for a romantic uh, prom. I learned that Matt really wanted to go with Michelle. Everyone wanted to go with Michelle, okay? Just Michelle this, Michelle that. I'm like trying to be a little bit mindful of what I say because I am still friends with some of these people. I doubt anyone watches these videos, but just in case, uh, I will watch my words a little bit, but Michelle. Anyways, um, but Michelle wanted to go with her gay best friend, 
Danny, who is also one of my favorite best friends, but he and her teamed up first. Like the minute like the word prom like was announced, you know, on the scenes, uh, they like were like, we're going together. So then there was this like panic for everyone else to figure out who they were gonna go with. If I could do it again, I would have just gone with my girlfriends. Like you really don't need a date. What? Uh, I get it, I get it. It's what everyone was doing and I wanted to do it. But like in retrospect, I really should have just gone with my girlfriends. It would have been so much more fun. But we're all scrambling and I went to a really small school. There was like 69 kids in my class, um, in my graduating class. So, you know, everyone like knows what everyone's thinking and what everyone's saying. And so it was kind of this like plot that like, okay, Matt's not gonna get to go with Michelle, but he still might stand a chance at like hooking up with Michelle because Michelle's going with Danny and Danny doesn't like girls. Um, so, you know, they're clearly just going as friends. So Michelle in theory will be like, available um so i guess since lisa word on the street is lisa wants to go with me i'll go with lisa i'll ask lisa to go with me so it was kind of like we were like set up you know it was like the plan we were set up to go together but deep down he didn't want to go with me i can't remember if i knew that or not i'm thinking i did but regardless i was like okay so we're set to go and he was my friend, like I said, we did like some theater together, we were in math together. And spoiler spoiler alert, him and I are still friends. Um, he has since uh, apologized for this whole fiasco, which you are hearing and about to hear more of. So anyhow, I don't know if I was on the prom committee. I think we kind of like all were. Were we all on the prom? No, that wouldn't make sense. I don't remember, but it was like gonna be set up to be at this like marina or something. And then all the kids, I can't believe we got away with this. All the kids, kids, we all, um, after like the school's prom that they threw for us, we were all gonna stay at a hotel, um, which is insane. One, that the hotel would let us do that. We weren't even 18 yet. Could you stay? I don't know how we pull this off. Different times? Could you do that now? Am I just being an old lady now thinking this is crazy that they just let a bunch of teenagers stay by themselves in a hotel? That sounds crazy to me. Well, we had to set that up as well ahead of time. So I paired up with another girlfriend of mine who was dating some dude. So it was like the four of us were gonna share a room. But I always remembered that like Matt wasn't like super excited about this plan. I should have seen the red flags from the start, you know what I'm saying? Anyhow, so that was the plan. We were gonna go, we were all gonna like share a limo and then we were gonna go stay at this hotel afterwards. So I went on the hunt to get the perfect dress. And I will say, I wish I would have saved that dress. I think I wore it in that video a while back. Um, it was this great, like I wanted a yellow dress. It literally like, was like the dress of my dreams. It was from ABS. Is that still a brand? Uh, I think it is actually. Um, and it was just a very simple like spaghetti strap, silk, silk? Kind of a little shiny um, yellow like straight dress. I loved it. And I think I wore my hair like very like flat and straight. I thought I looked pretty cute. I think we went to somebody's house to take pictures with our families, you know, like a very traditional thing. And then we headed to the event. And I just remember like from the start, it was like very obvious that like, I was just a date to be a date so that Matt didn't have to go by himself. And also I guess, so I didn't have to go by myself, but there was like no, there was no plan. I don't even think we like sat next to each other in the limo. It was just like, it was all kind of for show and to say that we did it. And so I don't have much memory of the actual prom other than the final song we danced to was one more time. Do, 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 do. And I think that's when it had just come out. What is this? Oh, shorts. Um, which again, I'm aging myself. And I do think that like Matt and like 
a group of my friends like I kind of had two separate groups they they were more of like the the party kids I think they were like doing drugs like they were like rolling or something I never did that um so they were kind of in their own universe which might lead to uh the next part of the story which is going to the hotel and this is like the most depressing part so I remember please everybody look at corny I know some of you thought it was distracting last time I think it's the greatest moment um of all these videos that's just the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen Anyways, so we go to the after party and I don't remember like the lead up to everything, but then it was like time to like go to our rooms and Matt just like never came to the room. Like he just never came. He decided to just hang out over in Danny and Michelle's room. And I think he ended up even just sleeping on the floor over there. So I, he never told me he wanted to like be with her. He never, you know, it was just like, he just ghosted me at the hotel, which was so depressing and like so embarrassing, but was what was even worse. Cause like, listen, you can't force someone to like, like you and you can't force someone to like share bed with you or like hang out with you. Like I didn't want that, but like he just literally ghosted me and um, I was kind of just like waiting all night for him to come and he never did. But because I was sharing the room with another couple, I had to sleep in the bed next to a couple that was hooking up. So I was all alone, my date never came, and there was a couple hooking up next to me. It was so embarrassing and so awful. And to this day, I still feel bitter and just kind of sad for myself about it. I mean, I guess in, like in the long run, like who cares? Well, no, I care. I cared. It's okay to care. Um, <laughs> but, like, I didn't want him to force, you know, being with me just to be with me or to, like, you know, that's, he was clearly interested in Michelle, but he should have vocalized this far before uh, he basically strung me along the whole time. So, I'm sure many of those details are incorrect and or were through my POV at the time. And I'm sure he has a whole different story to what was going on. But I will say, after I posted that initial video, which again was like 12 years ago when I posted that video, uh, he had seen it. I don't know how. I guess I was like, when I first started YouTube, people in my life were watching my videos more because it was sort of like a novelty that I was doing this. And also YouTube wasn't like as uh, common of a thing so like people were watching uh that I like knew from real life and so he had watched it and he straight up called me I'm pretty sure he called me to apologize and was like really embarrassed and like felt really bad and I was like oh my god that wasn't like my intention I wasn't trying to like make you one apologize or make you feel bad like this is all part of like growing pains and you know, when you're kids, you don't think everything out thoroughly, even like in relationships until now, like you make bad choices, you do bad things, you make selfish choices, or you just do things without thinking. So I wasn't actually mad at him, but I thought it was very brave, very kind and very mature of him to apologize. And I absolutely accepted his apology and have since uh, seen him several times. He's now married with a kid and he is a very um, talented writer, and we've gotten together to talk about work and life several times, so all is good in that arena. It's a good reminder that even though at the time it all feels so sad and hopeless, <laughs> things do and will turn around, and to keep that in mind, try not to force anything that isn't obvious and in front of you, and you know what? It probably is going to be more fun, unless you have like eight boyfriend or girlfriend or a partner of some sort, it's probably more fun uh, to just go with a friend. Michelle had the right idea all along. Michelle! <clears throat> Anyways, well, that was a productive and quick fold. 
The truth of the matter is I have a whole nother basket full of dirty clothes, but I ran out of time to start that today. But don't worry, friends. I will be back next Wednesday for another fold and storytelling. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about. Oh, I didn't prep any options for y'all. Throw out some ideas for me and um, make sure that you follow me on Instagram because I'll probably end up pulling you guys on what you want to hear next. Uh, yeah, I just love this so much. And oh, I'd love to hear any of your horror or success stories when it comes to prom. Um, I just think it's such a big part of uh, growing and uh, part of your story and of your childhood and growing pains and all that. So now when I look back, back at it, I look back at it fondly because it made me who I am um, and it gave me some great comedy and some great folding stories. Um, so, you know, no regrets, only moving forward and all I could do is share my experiences with you so you don't feel so alone if you've had similar experiences of similar horrors. <laughs> Listen, it could always be worse, like really worse. What's one night alone in a bed while friends are hooking up next to you? <sighs> all right, I love you guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.